All right, guys, welcome to your 24th Ruby tutorial. And in addition to just using regular expressions in simple statements, you can also scan a string and actually extract whatever you pulled out and use it in some way. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be teaching you guys about the scan method. And what this does is it looks for a regular expression, extracts it, and all I'm gonna be doing is printing it out on the screen. So say that, I don't know, you wanted to, it's basically like looping through a string and we wanted to print out three characters at a time. Well, let's go ahead and do this right now. The first thing we need is a string and I'm just gonna set mine equal to variable A equals not equals minus, that would be messed up. Wow, um, Bucky is the greatest. Beautiful. Now that we have that variable A, we can go ahead and call the scan method on it. Now the scan method is a parameter, it takes a regular expression. So remember the first thing I said that all regular expressions start and end with forward slashes. So let's get those out of the way right now. Now in my regular expression, the only thing, well we know a couple symbols, but we know the period means any single character. So let's go ahead and write three periods, which means it's basically gonna scan through the string while Bucky is the greatest, and it's gonna rip it apart three characters at a time. Now what we can do is we can actually store those pieces in the variable. This might look a little bit familiar to you. Store it in the variable B, and now that we have that, Let's just go ahead and print or put B on the screen. So you remember whenever we used loops, we could store whatever we extracted in a variable and then print it out on the screen. Let's go ahead and do that right now and see what we get. Wow, Bucky is the greatest. Kind of, it's a little bit choppy. But basically, that's what we're doing right now. Our regular expression said, okay, this means any three characters and clearly, a character also includes spaces as well. So even though you can't see it, even though it's not a number or a letter, a space in computer programming is actually a character. So what if you wanted to um, you know, do the same thing or something similar to this, but you didn't want to include these spaces? Now, spaces are also called white spaces. So if I say white spaces and spaces, I pretty much mean the same thing. Well, instead of these periods, dot, 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 what we would want to use is another symbol in regular expressions, which is um, backslash s, backslash s, backslash s. So what this is going to do is basically this. Now remember, a backslash s is basically a non-white space character. Any number, any letter is going to match backslash s. Now let me go ahead, I keep saying backslash s, but you know what I mean. So basically let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Wow, Bucky the Great, and it kind of messes up. It doesn't say, wow, Bucky is the greatest without any spaces, and this is why. Take a look at our original string. Wow, Bucky is the greatest. Now, what we said is basically loop through this or scan through this and rip it apart whenever you find three non-white space characters. Well, the reason that it doesn't print out things like is is whenever it comes to is, it says, okay, this is only two non-white space characters. We have one, two, but we didn't match our third parameter, basically. So that's why it doesn't print out things like this. So again, basically for this tutorial, I wanna tell you that, just remember this, just take this away and you'll be good. A period, whenever you're working in regular expressions is any character. It can be a space, it can be a letter, it can be a number, it's any character. A backslash S is only a non-white space character. So it can be letters and numbers, but it can't be spaces. Now you can use these in combination between forward slashes to make patterns. Now in the upcoming tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys different ways where you can use these patterns and also in different things other than loops like decision making and stuff like that but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video